Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for watching. I just want to take a moment to let everybody know uh, how things are going with me, with my health. Uh, I've had people contacting me, wanting to know what's going on, how I'm feeling. Um, and so while I'm sitting here listening to some music that one of our young entrepreneurs uh, produced, uh, I figured this was a good time to go ahead and shoot this quick video. And just to kind of give you an update, um, the last time I uh, revealed to everybody, you know, that I had prostate cancer, I didn't really go into any details. But uh, just to let you know that uh, I am doing great and I am in, in, in great hands, number one, that I feel like God has put me in the right place at the right time. And so I am at peace with this and I feel good about it. And so, and, and, and I'm also, you know, uh, which is kind of not strange, but for some, you know, I don't know, but uh, I, am, I am videotaping this journey. So I just wanted to do a quick video just to let you know what's exactly what's going on. The, since the last time I talked with you, I've had so many different uh, uh, CAT scans, MRIs, uh, biopsies, and so I had like five different scans uh, in one day uh, last month because after the, uh, the biopsy and the MRI, uh, they was afraid that the cancer had spread it into my bones. So then I had to do a full body uh, scan so they can scan all of my bones. And after that, they were still a little worried because there was something on one of my, on two of my ribs and on, the, uh, on my pelvis. And they want to go back and do another uh, couple more scans to make sure that that wasn't cancer. And it turned out it wasn't cancer, you know, and thank God for that. But I'm going to stop right there because what I want to do is thank everybody that have been sending me your prayers and your blessings and your well wishes. You know, I, I appreciate that so much and that means a lot. And that also help keeps my spirit up, you know. And if anybody out there that's going through anything uh, that is some type of adversity, you know, what I'm learning is that you know, keeping your spirit up is one of the main key to this. And so I don't feel sick, you know, because somebody contacted me and said, oh, I want to send you a goodwill card. I'm like, yeah, no, don't do that because I'm not sick. You know, I, I just have cancer and because I feel good. I've only had one day, well, now two days that uh, I was just so tired that I, I, couldn't, I couldn't fight it. And because I've, I'm part of a uh, trial treatment at uh, UT Southwestern here in Dallas, and uh, this, this, this trial treatment, uh, basically what I'm doing is that I'm doing radiation, I'm, uh, I'm taking four pills a day to, to fight the cancer. Uh, I'll be taking those four pills a day for six months and I, I'm being monitored every 30 days. Uh, and I'm also taking uh, calcium for my bones because the, 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 the medicine and the radiation will you know, make my bones uh, softer. Uh, I, I'm taking a shot, and I take that shot every six months. So they're going at this very aggressive, and so I'm popping. There's a lot of things going into my body, but uh, I'm okay with that. And and the radiation doesn't start until next month. So I'll go in. It, today is 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 March the 25th, 2015. So I would go in next month, which would be April, I think around April the 8th, and I would start my radiation treatment. Uh, and the pills I'm taking, there are some side effects. Um, one of them is that I, 
for me, I feel claustrophobia. Uh, and, and, and I also want to tell you this, I'm, by me videotaping this whole process, that's allowed me to really pay attention to what's going on in my body, how I feel, what it feels like. And uh, so when I start feeling like, uh, you know, I, I was having a strange feeling and I couldn't really put my finger on it. It took me about two weeks to put my finger on it that I felt like it was claustrophobia. And I went, wow, that's strange. You know, because I was laying on the, on, the, on the couch and trying to stretch and trying to bring myself out of it and didn't realize what I was really trying to do. The other thing that it does, now this is a good one here, is that I have hot flashes. When the doctor first gave me the pills, he said, you're going to have hot flashes. And I remember in my mind saying, hmm, you know what, men are going to have hot flashes. No, no. I didn't say that to him, but that's what I thought. Well, sure enough, about two weeks ago, I started having these hot flashes, and I couldn't figure out what was going on, because I kept getting so hot, and it would go away, come back, go away, come back, and I went, ah, oh, he told me, and, and, and let me tell you guys, anytime a lady say that they're having hot flashes, I understand, I understand. And I'm, I'm going to tell you what it feels like, because I, I kept trying to figure out what is this, what this feels like, you know. It feels like if you have a car with, um, with seat warmers, and you turn the seat warmer on, and if you, uh, you know, turn it on and you can't turn it off, but you still got to drive. Let's say you got to drive, you know, 3,000 miles with your seat warmer on. But the seat warmer, it, it kind of comes on and goes off when it wants to. And no matter what the temperature is, that's what happens. It just comes on and goes off. But you can't control it. You can't turn around because you have started on this long journey. And it's an internal heat. So when I'm, when I'm sitting around or if I'm working or whatever I'm doing, I mean, it just, it just hit and it may last 15 seconds, it may last two minutes, it may last three minutes, but I would get up and I would find me a fan and try to stick my head up to that fan. As a matter of fact, yesterday, one of the ladies in the shop named Tracy, she brought me a little, a little fan to bring to put on, on the table where I'd be sitting at the computer all the time. So, ladies, I understand what hot flashes feel like and guys if you ever hear a lady say that they have hot flashes just keep in mind that that is what it feels like it feels like that the car seat warmer is on and they cannot control it and it's an inner heat so um, but other than that I feel great I feel great and um, I'm still working, and I'm, matter of fact, I'm, I'm working on, on, a, on a couple of videos now, and I'm still editing one that is, oh my gosh, this thing is long. But, you know, I'm still editing that one, but I'm, I'm uh, shooting a couple more at the same time. So I'm, I'm staying busy, and I feel good, still doing my two miles walk every morning, and I will keep you all, um, um, abreast of the, you know, of what's going on, and but I am shooting a, a a video of the whole journey, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with the video. God told me to do it. I'm going to do it, and once I finish it, I'm gonna take it. I'm going to, I guess, just upload it and see if it can help somebody else, because. Uh, I'm going to go back to what I said at the very beginning. How you receive something can make all the difference. I mean, I could take this and be, you know, upset about it and sad about it, but you know what? I'm excited about it because this allowed me to give, to see uh, God do his thing. I mean, that's how I look at it. 
no matter if I take a turn or if it, if it, if it, if I start to feel bad or no matter how this goes, I feel good about it. You know, I know I, there there may things that I may hear that I don't want to hear, but I'm okay with that because I feel good about it. I'm at peace with it. So I just want to just kind of give everybody an update and let you know I am I am good and all is well.